Greetings everyone and welcome to today's latest mix of build videos that I create for your enjoyment. Today's build I have is one going the stylish bomber path, as I want to try out something new and unique for once that many of community members have achieved before, but instead of using a sleep sword and shield sleep bomber playstyle, I've decided to go with a sleep great sword sleep bomber playstyle that will in many ways produce a lot more damage or no damage at all if you're like me that can't really aim for crap. I call this set the Stylish Greatsword Bomber with Extra Explosion set. Now, the Stylish Sleep Bombing Playstyle is a method that has been around for a very long time, dating back to the first Monster Hunter, and is a playstyle that is very strong on generating any monster in your face, as it will provide you with a nasty wake-up call, which I'm a big fan of. So I decided to put my own version of the Stylish Bomber with slightly more damage involved and slightly less sleep effect blocking on certain monsters. Since, by many people know, I'm using the great sword that has a slow motion value, but I'll go more into that later on. Now, I went with the great sword because with a great sword, you can pull off a true charge, which provides a massive damage boost when it fully lands on the monster. So, combining this now with a sleek great sword means you can pull off this effect more efficiently while also pocking large damage in one go. The only downside to this, though, is that the great sword has a slow motion value, meaning they will proc statuses slash elements less often compared to weapons with faster motion values like sword and shield, dual blades, etc. So depending on the monster you face and depending on the sleep resistance they have, which is a major build breaker, means you can either sleep on more or true charge more often, with successful degree. Or on the other hand, less often with less sleep rocking and most of your damage coming from your great sword alone. If you're like me who can't really aim to hit true charge properly. And in many ways the build if you don't proc the sleep, you can still pretty much kill the monster. And even when you look at it, it's still effective. The damage is there, but the sleep is an extra add-on for a bit more fun. Now to pull this all off, I decided to use the new Tower of Blaze Tar Greatsword, which is just a Radabon Greatsword covered in gold plating. But it's an effective golden tar sword, as it comes with a 10% affinity and 30 defense, which makes this ever so slightly more better than this latter version. But if you don't have this version, then no worries, just use a Radaman Slab 3 Great Sword instead, as they are literally one and the same. Now, augmentation wise, I went with a Health Og because, well, you want to stay in the fight as long as possible, so this is always a good choice to go with. And then, the second you start is kind of up to you at this point. You can either go with more affinity, more attack, more defense, or even extra dual slots, it's entirely up to you at this point. But for many people, I guess going with an affinity would be more suitable. Now the following skills used are ones that I thought best suited the build, and you can always change the build to your liking if you don't like what you see. So we have Weakness Activate 3 because at this point it become a common skill that is too good to pass up. Focus 3 to allow us to charge up our charge stacks much faster and allow us to pull off true charges much more efficiently. Handicraft 3 for the extra bit of sharpness. Now this weapon can get wiped sharpness at all, so this is more up to you to decide on whether having Handicraft 3 is needed or not, since most of your damage will be from sleep bombing and two charges, which don't take a lot of sharpness out of your weapon. Bombard 3 to increase our barrel bombing exposure even more. Sleep Attack 2 to increase our potency amount that your sleep effects can do. I didn't have a spare sleep jewel to max out, so I had to use a random amount of armor piece to make up the loss. But if you have the jewels, then you can switch out the chest for something more damage worthy or defensive. Up to you, as long as it has an extra slot for that specific jewel. Speed Sharpening 2 to allow me to sharpen my weapon. But this was placed there as I didn't really see anything else I could place there as a replacement, if that makes sense. So if you want, you could add in a Medicine Jewel for more health back, Health Boost for extended health, or even Crit Eye Jewel for a bit of extra DPS. And then lastly, we have Maximum Might 1, which was something I added on for extra damage and paired very well for the damage you produce, as I believe Great Swords don't take any stamina away from you, unless you're blocking or dodging. Overall, this set now will give you a base attack of 984, which can be bumped up further with canteen and demon drugs, pills, etc. A defense of 415, which is enough for you to take on a temple monster if you wish. 20% affinity, which comes out to having 70% affinity when you have weakness exploit 3 active. And 310 sleep, which when calculated, will allow you to do 31 sleep per hit. So onto the playstyle, it's pretty simple to get started with this build as sleep bombing only involves you to hit the monster repeatedly until they fall asleep. And then you set yourself up with the crept bombs and then do a true charge for massive damage. 
However, in an ideal and suitable society, this isn't always the case, as pulling off such a feat doesn't always work. And just from experience, I've had moments where I put the monster to sleep, only for it to wake back up again by being interrupted by another monster, or I take too long to try to pull off a true charge attack. And this can in many ways be funny and slightly sad, as it takes a lot of practice to pull off the combination successfully. But once you do pull it off, oh boy. You can get some nasty damage with this coming out to around 500 plus if you land your true shot successfully and the battle bombs which depends on the buff you choose to go with as going with a battle bomb plus over a standard battle bomb will you do more damage in the outrun but also using normal battle bombs are fine as well as they give you good damage as well and even if you don't have the ingredients to create a battle bomb plus you can always eat at the canteen and get the feline pyro skill which will for many people out there will upgrade your bombs to their level 2 versions so that's a nice little tip right there. Overall, my opinion on the build is that it will provide you with a fun and interesting place to try out. That I promise will give you a chuckle every now and then before raging first when it comes down to failing or messing up on the barrel bomber hit. Don't worry, we've all done it. I do it multiple times. I'm terrible about this game still, but we all gotta learn eventually. The only downside to the build is that the sleep buildup will be slow depending on the monster you face, and the resistance level can also affect how many times and how easily you can put the monster to sleep. But this shouldn't be really a problem at all, as 9 out of 10, once you put the monster to sleep the first time, and you sleep on the monster, you pretty much down the monster easily with your raw damage you already have, since you're, pay you're pretty much taking a large chunk of the health away. So, go have some stylish sleep bombing fun with this build, that ought to make you laugh from the fun, or rage from the despair. If you genuinely enjoy the content, then I do appreciate if you guys leave a like and a sub, as we appreciate it a lot if you do. Well, once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.